Setting up at the event site. Position the trailer in the desired location. Locate a flat, even ground surface. Chalk the tires to prevent movement. These are located in the interior cabinet. Lower the hitch jack. Crank the handle to raise the front of the trailer up until the trailer hitch is completely free of the tow vehicle. Open the hitch compartment door. Turn on the jack's control unit located inside the hitch compartment. Using the leveler jack's remote control, lower the four jacks until the weight of the trailer is off all four tires. All four tires will be slightly off the ground. Note, if the ground is unlevel, ensure that the trailer is leveled by lowering and raising the jacks individually as needed. Turn the hitch jack to its travel position. Remove the two hitch locking pins. Raise the hitch inside the hitch compartment. Press the retract button located inside the hitch compartment to release the trailer axles. Do not allow anyone to stand near the trailer during the next step. Using the leveler jack's remote control, slowly lower the trailer to the ground. Turn off the leveling jack's power switch. Close and lock the hitch compartment door. Using the propane generator for power. Warning, propane is combustible. Do not allow anyone to smoke anywhere near the propane tanks while performing these next steps. Open the propane tank compartment. Turn all four propane tank handles counterclockwise to start the flow of propane to the generator. Close the compartment door. Enter the trailer and turn on the interior 12 volt lights. The generator on-off switch is located on the right-hand side of the electrical cabinet. It is a black toggle switch. Depress the toggle switch to start the generator. It may be necessary to hold the button down for a couple of seconds. You will hear the generator start up. Within 15 seconds, the entire trailer should have 120 volt power. The shore power connection is located on the same side of the trailer as the trailer entry door, towards the rear of the trailer. The trailer operates on a 120 volt, 30 amp power circuit. Supply this NEMA number to the event site electrician. The shore power cable is utilized to operate everything in the trailer, including the ATM. The included 30 to 15 amp adapter can be used if 30 amp shore power is not available at the event site. Never use the supplied 30 15 amp adapter when operating the air conditioning system. The AC will draw more than 15 amps of power when cycling. Operating the air conditioner on a 15 amp circuit may cause a fuse to blow on the shore power side of the electrical circuit. This could result in a fire at the power source fuse panel. Plug the provided shore power extension cable into the shore power receptacle on the trailer. Plug the other end into the shore power source receptacle. 